Hey, hey, hey guys, it's good to see you back on this YouTube channel, not just today, but every time it's good to see you back on this YouTube channel in this beautiful Sunday. So we'll have some new episodes around RX 5600 and RX 5700 GPUs, how to be a smart, what kind of common issues um, I have seen so far, because I have used a lot of different models, you know, and I'm gonna go through the models I have used and which probably I prefer the most and which I don't prefer the most, uh, which I would absolutely not recommend to, do, to use for mining. Um, so yeah, also we do have a Telegram channel which you can find down in the description, it's very active lately. Um, if you, especially if you are new to mining and you would need some ideas, you can go there and ask and somebody probably will uh, share his experience and also share his mining rig builds. So yeah, links are down the, the, in the description, but you hit the like button now as you understand the video will be very interesting and we will start now. Um, so the main thing what I want to show you today is the um, RX 5600 GPU rig, what I have here, I have um, eight Sapphire Pulse and two MSI Match RX 5600 GPUs. Um, you know, the RX, uh, funny or not, the RX 56 uh, um, Pulse version is, uh, you know, about 3 MHz slower than MSI Match uh, with a stock BIOS. So I was looking a way to increase the performance because um, the overclocks didn't work to rest, 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 uh, increase the performance the same speed as the um, as the match, you know, they were 3 MHz, with the same auto clocks, they were 3 MHz uh, slower. So I found a way to uh, upload a different BIOS from, this, from the same manufacturer, Softfile Pulse BE, um, on this graphics card, and actually increase, before, increase, the, increase the performance about 3 MHz. I'll go that in the detail when I switch to, switch to the screen. There's, uh, you know, also when I wanted to talk about a few of the GPUs, you know, which ones to use um, uh, for mining from the RX 5700 because I have used a lot of different brands and you know absolutely worst worst graphics card for memory cooling you know we we know that there's issue with the memory cooling for the RX 5700 GPUs uh, on the most of the GPUs uh, but this card is absolutely worst Astrock Challenger you know the man the, the memory cooling pods are so bad that you know um, graphics card in a closed casing with the fans attached on it uh, and the uh, high efficiency fans you know i can't cool down the memory uh, even under the 100 uh, degrees celsius um, so yeah these are absolutely the worst um, the the best so far what i have used i have used msi match msi evoke i have used uh, asus i have used gigabyte i have used the uh, um, power color uh, red dragons um which else but absolutely these the uh, the gigabyte um rx5700 xt um three fan version they are very very good uh cooling uh, you know um and i like them a lot you know you don't need uh, even a high efficiency uh cooling case to cool down this graphics card's memory and these will be probably absolutely the best you know and also they they are slightly more expensive than the MSI Match and Evoke uh, and the Asus and also more expensive the, than the power color but the quality is a little better you know, be a lot better you know if your country is very hot or you know your room temperature is very hot this is a very good car to choose because uh, you know, many people has issues with a cooling down the graphics card's memory on the RX 5700 um, graphics cards. So this would I probably recommend the most. Um, so yeah, and also another you know way to cool down the graphics cards is with the AGPU cases. So basically the AGPU motherboards, you know, such kind of case, but just for AGPUs. Um, I think I have one to show you. Um, yeah, so these, so these kind of case, I'll 
If you've seen probably Red Panda's channel, we send also one case for him uh, to test it out and see the performance. But yeah, this case, you know, because you can install the the uh, GPUs with the fans attached on the graphics cards. You can attach the, uh, you know, install the GPUs with the fans attached on the on the graphics cards. But we have also will have such kind of model also. It's a GPU. So basically, these have here. Uh, has 3865 motherboard and these have the on the motherboards and actually you know you can install whole eight gpus but this case this kind of case doesn't take eight rx57 because uh, there are some issues with the motherboard it just simply uh, it's turning off as soon as the mining starts but this gpu uh this case with on the with on the motherboard b254 a gpus is uh, working absolutely fine um and yeah and they cool down the graphics cards very well because you have the fans on the graphics card cooling the graphics card plus there is a um high efficiency fans on the the other side the other side of the uh the cooling case so what i'm thinking is that this pro video is probably uh, probably too long already and uh, maybe I will, will, will split this in two parts I will show you in the second part um, how to how to actually uh, modify the, 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 the BIOS and what BIOS to use on these graphics cards in this video I just went through and show you what GPUs are you know what would i recommend what 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 is the best temperatures um you know which is the best gpus for the memory temperatures when mining ethereum and uh which i like the most and from the the, the cases also which i like the most but the issue of course with the cases is you know as you can hear probably now they are very loud and i have turned off the all the rest of the cases what i have here and uh and I have turned them off just because you know the the noise is too loud and you you won't be hearing anything I talk. So so what I think I just gonna do a two part video. I think it's gonna be too long for this one video. So I basically show the GPU. Um, you know what um, I would prefer to use for mining from the RX 5700, which is the Gigab Gigabyte Three fan version. Uh, the XT. The XT G GPU, you know, of course there's uh, other ones which I haven't tested, you know, like Sapphire Nitros is probably, you know, also will be very good. I see in Red Panda the Red uh, Devil uh, GPU, so any 3 fan GPU looks like they have very good memory cooling. And yeah, and how to increase performance on the RX 5600, how to modify to increase more um, uh, mining speed I will do probably a uh, update video tomorrow um, I haven't just you know recorded the video but I think it's gonna be too long uh, for you to watch so I'll see you on the next one guys um, yeah mine hardcore or don't mine at all <laughs>